Hi and welcome to the second AutoCAD Map 2008 training course. I'm Gary Morin and in this session I will be giving you an overview of the additional features you get in AutoCAD Map over the standard AutoCAD. I'm going to concentrate initially on data connections. You can get through to them by going down to the task plane and clicking on Display Manager. Clicking on Data, then Connect to Data. Now the data connections allows us to go out to other GIS formats and pull the data directly through into AutoCAD Map for us to work on. It's actually being pulled through in its native format without any need for any conversion. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to use shape data for now. As we shape data, click on and pick my shape file, uh, triple SI file here, and hit connect. Let's just add it to the map and we should see an extra layer added, uh, this light yellow layer here. If I tell it, to, tell it to zoom to its extent, you will see the shape data, the shape objects being shown in AutoCAD Map. Now, shape data normally has attribute information. And when you go to convert shape into AutoCAD using other means, i.e. DXF, you quite often lose that. But if I just select the layer here and click on Table, these are all the attributes connected to the shape data I've just pulled in. In fact, if I want to see where the blood well marsh is, all I have to do is select the object, select the row, and we should see that object selected now on my map. Now, perhaps I don't feel that triple uh, SI should appear in a light yellow color. If I want to alter the way it looks, I can just go up to Style and change it. In fact, I could add a new theme and theme uh, them on based on different values in the attribute data, but for now I'm just going to click on the style, choose the hash, hatch pattern I want it to appear in. In fact, I'm going to leave it as solid. I'll choose a colour. Let's go for a dark red. Just alter it. In fact, under colours we can actually go down to more and pick any colour we wish it to be. But I'll leave it like that, hit OK, and we should see all our sites now have changed colour. Now the beauty about the data connections is that it doesn't matter where the data is coming from, whether it's uh, Esri shape files, Esri Arc SDE, uh, Map Info tab files, you've got data stored in an Oracle database, um, Microsoft SQL Server. Once you pull the data in, the way it works and the operations you have on it are identical. So for instance here, let's we'll just turn that layer on and zoom to extents. In fact, let's turn on the triple size as well. You will see that I actually have another set of data, but this data is being pulled through from Map Info tab files. If I turn on this layer here, will quickly popped up that's theme data being pulled through from uh, Microsoft SQL Server and like any other data being pulled through from the data connections if I fire up the table here are all the attributes connected to those objects in Microsoft SQL Server and if I was to pick one it will zoom me in onto that object So you can see one of the big advantages of the data connections is allowing you to go out and pull data, GIS data in in its native format directly into AutoCAD Map. The other big advantage of this is that it's very fast compared to normal AutoCAD data. Uh, when we define layers, we can actually save their definitions into a, a layer file. I've actually done this already for uh, some master map data. So let me just go in hit load layer and pick my OS master map data and click OK. You can see straight away we have a new layer definition pop in and let me zoom to its extents. So this is me loading it into this AutoCAD drawing and can you see the speed in which that comes in and let me now just zoom in and show you just how much data is actually in there. Let's just zoom in a small way Let's pan down and carry on zooming in a little bit further. You 
you can see there's an awful lot of information here and like all the other information if I click on table I can actually now pick on any object in this table and obviously it will select from zoom to us and show us that information very fast I wouldn't like to do that in standard AutoCAD map without using the data connections or in standard AutoCAD without the ability to use data connections thank you uh, in the next session we'll go into more detail of how we can edit this data and save it back uh, but if you have any questions or any comments please don't hesitate to contact me thank you very much